Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and Path of Exile. So first of all, we're going to make sure that your Windows is properly set up. After that, we will go inside of the game and we will finish with the um, uh, config file. You have a couple of stuff that you can tweak to have more FPS. So let's start with Windows. Just write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And make sure that all those capture, background recording, and recorded audio are at off. Another thing really important, make sure that all your overlay, Discord overlay, and stuff like that, just remove that. You're always getting stuttering when you're using those kind of features. Another thing that you can do if you have the new version of Windows, so Windows 10 version 2008, uh, 2004, sorry, just write GPU here. And click on the graphics settings option. You have a new feature called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure this one is at on. Uh, to see this option, you have to, you have to make sure that you, first of all, you have the new version of Windows. Also, you need the latest version of your driver with Nvidia to see this. And if you have an AMD car, uh, they didn't release the driver for now, but probably they will release it re really soon. So you will probably have the same option though with uh, AMD. So yeah. That's about it. So now let's open the game. So now the graphic parameter. So first of all, make sure that you're playing in full screen, really important. You will lose FPS if you're using window mode or window full screen. Uh, resolution really depends on your monitor, but after my guide, if you're still str struggling with your FPS, uh, for sure you will need to uh, lower your resolution. Renderer, you have two uh, different API that you can use, DirectX 11 and Vulkan. Honestly, just do your, your test. Sometimes it's better. Vulkan is better on AMD car. Uh, so it really depends. For me, DirectX 11, I'm getting more FPS normally than Vulkan. But when I see a lot of different action and a lot of stuff is going on in my monitor, Vulkan normally is, is better. I'm getting more consistent. and My FPS are more consistent. And also sometimes I'm even getting more FPS when a lot of stuff is happening. So depending on your style and when you are in the game, uh, just do your test. Uh, really important to, to say Vulkan is in beta, so maybe you will have some game crash, stuff like that. So just so think about it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, V-Sync just disabled this. After that, anti-aliasing, I'm putting this one at off. You will gain a nice 4% boost over there. All those shadow quality, sun shadow quality, number of light, everything at low over there. Another 12% in your uh, FPS. Lighting, make sure that you're playing at shadow default. Uh, after that, bloom normal. Incursion uh, effect, make sure this one is at disable. Water detail, make sure this one is at low. Another like 3% over there. Texture quality, it really depends on your uh, VRAM on your card. If you have 2 gig and more, just go with high. If you have less than 2 gig, go with medium. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing with the uh, anisotropic filtering. You can go like 4x if you have like 3 gig and more. 2 gig if you have 2 gig go with 2x and if you have less than 2 gig go with trilinear filtering advanced setting this one is a little bit different uh it's another option that you can use sometimes if your game is normally good at 60 but when you have a lot of action you're uh, getting a lot of drop this one can help you the first option if you enable this one um it will remove particle object and stuff like that to make sure that you're hitting your target frame rate. So we'll make sure that the target frame rate is at 60 because 30 is a bit low. It's the default of the game. And honestly, playing this game at 30, it's pretty, it's pretty annoying. And you have the dynamic resolution. It will change your resolution again to make sure that you're hitting your target over there. If you don't like those kind of effects, just disable both. Uh, honestly, I don't use it. I just put all the graphic that parameter that I want to use and I don't use dynamic, but it can help uh, you a lot if you're dropping uh, under 60. Uh, one last thing, engine multi-trading, make sure this one is at enabled, really important. You don't want to just use one core on your CPU. You want to use multi-trading, so really important to be at enable. Another thing is the channel count. It can help a bit if you have like a low hand processor. Uh, go with low, like a really old laptop or computer. Uh, for the rest of the people, go with medium. And I will show you a couple of tweaks that we can do uh, in the config file for the sound. It will uh, help you again for your FPS. So now let's go inside of the uh, config file. So now the config file. So to, to find your config file, you need to go to document, my games, 
Powder Pixel. Uh, you will see production config, double click on it. Control F and look for shadow. When you see shadow underscore type, make sure that you're writing no underscore shadows and it will help you a lot with your FPS because you will remove the shadow in, in the game. Uh, another thing that you need to do is in sound over there. Uh, please don't like put zero if you want to remove uh, a sound. For example, ambient sound volume, write false. Uh, chat alert sound again, write false to remove it completely inside of the game because even if you go inside of the game and you put the slider at left, the game will still use resources to whatever to uh, make uh, your audio. But uh, if you don't want to hear it, you don't want to use your resources for it. So this is the way that you can deactivate it by writing false. Really important on low hand CPU, it will help you a lot with your FPS and also you will get uh, a more stable uh, FPS when you're playing the game. If you have any question guys, just comment in the YouTube section, make sure that you save this, click X and also uh, click properties and make sure that you're putting this file in read only, you don't want a game to override it. So this in this way, you make sure that um, your, uh, your config will always be uh, on when you're playing the game. So if you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.